Alright y'all, so we back on here with another episode of the Indigo Podcast And today, I'm going to be talking about how everyone's trying to figure it out just as much as you are So, um, I'm just kind of give a little overview on this it's just, Others may seem like they've figured it out already Like the most successful people, like, let me think of like some successful people Like Elon Musk, um, LeBron, all of them, like thing, people like that And it just looks like, you know, because with all the success they have And all the things they've accomplished that you know, they just know everything and they know the outcomes of everything. They, you know, they figured it out. But in reality, these people have days where, you know, they might be doubtful and um, they might not be 100 percent sure of, you know, what they want to do or like what the next thing is going to happen. But, you know, just being OK with knowing that you're not always going to know everything and not being um discouraged when you see other people do things and um it looks like oh they're like so far ahead i mean obviously they've made progress but you know just not um letting that deter what you got going on but anyway um i'm just gonna talk about like what makes people like these these caliber people have the capacity to push the needle and you know push through that doubt and push through the uncertainty and you know make progress every day so the first thing i feel like that's really important is just the act of getting started, just getting out the door. Like, cause I feel like I kind of reference this paralysis by analysis, just, you know, sitting there and dwelling over things and being like, oh, what if this happens? And what if that happens? What if this person says this? And what if, you know, my mom doesn't like it, my dad doesn't like it, blah, blah, blah. You know, just, you know, being true to self and, you know, picking something and getting started. Cause a lot of people just don't get started. And that's the reason that they're not at point B or point C or whatever, you know, just, Stepping out the door and saying, I'm going to do this and I'm going to see what happens and lean into the unknown and, you know, get started. That's the main thing. You know, not every effort will be ideal, but the thing is just putting in the effort and making it consistent. It will compound over time. And the thing is, even though some efforts might be harder than others, like some days might be harder than others, it's still significant. All those efforts add up and build up and build up and build up. And by the end, you have this big brick house of things you've done over time. But yeah, the second thing, uh, I kind of mentioned this already, not getting discouraged because I just think of running. Like, you know, let's say I do a run and I see, let's say my run is at like a 820 pace. And then I go on, uh, this is thing called Strava. If you don't know what Strava is, you can go to your app store, Google Play store. It's pretty much where uh, runners share their runs, like, because I have a Garmin. So if I run, it uploads it automatically. Anyway, point is, like, let's say I run at 820 pace, right? And then uh, Billy over here <laughs> runs a 710 pace on his easy runs. And I'm like, dang. He's smoking, like he cooking, and I'm running the eight. I'm not gonna lie, this has happened before. I ain't gonna lie, this happened before. I'm like, oh, like dang, there's like a kind of like a, a gap here. And the thing is, just not getting discouraged. Because thing is, I've mentioned this before. I think your journey is different from theirs, you know. Because you know, I think I mentioned my first mile, like all out mile, was eight sixteen, and now I'm running eight twenty pace, like cooking, like pretty pretty smooth. So that's that's progress right there for me. But, you know, for them, they might have started their all-out mile might have been a 7-10 pace and they're running 7-10 pace and they're cooking now. So just not getting discouraged, you know, just um, being another thing, just being OK with failure. Like because when you fail, you're tested. You're like, OK, how am I going to react to this? You know, because you're just like, let's say um, I love running analogies because it just relates to me. And I hope it relates to y'all, too. But <laughs> um. Basically, let's say, um, like you're running the 800 and you're aiming for like 210, and you run like 214, 215. Would you stop there, or would you keep, you know, threading the needle and keep showing up? You know, what I mean, like things like that, like testing yourself. Because failure, the thing is, I put this here. You know, failure is a guarantee, but success is not. Like fa- failure is guaranteed to happen. Like anytime you do anything, if you run, you lift, you make music, uh, you draw. There will be some drawings that suck. There will be some songs that suck. There will be some runs that suck. There will be some lifts that are terrible. But failure is guaranteed. Success is not guaranteed. You're not, I mean, even if you're consistent, success is not guaranteed. That's the thing about it. It's it's, it's not, it's not like set in stone. It's not, you know, guaranteed that you're going to succeed or not. So just being okay with that and leaning into that, just knowing it may not be guaranteed, but I'm willing to show up even though 
I may not su- well success just like everything it's subjective but you know um just being okay with that uncertainty you know just staying patient and during the process and just enjoying the pro like i've really learned recently for like i've known this but like, i've really been like kind of learning it for real staying present in the process and enjoying the process instead of the destination you know because everybody wants to get to that end b you know go from go from point a to point b and get to point b so quick but you know if you just you have that in your mind the whole time you're gonna forget why you're even doing it and you're gonna forget the little things that added up to even get to point b so um just staying patient you know being grounded in where you're at at that point in time like a good analogy for this like because when i run i think let me stay in this mile because i heard this one guy's name is jeremy miller on instagram stay in that mile and like you're just listening to your footsteps you're just staying in that mile like you know like if you're working stay in that hour stay in that 30 minutes stay in the 20 minutes you know whatever time frame whatever you know bound of whatever just stay in that and stay as present as possible because it's gonna be over before you know it um kind of kind of goes into what i just said but appreciate the journey you know just be grateful for all the days the ups the downs the okay ones the great ones the bad ones the terrible ones you know they all add up into the sum of who you are and who you are to become you know and uh no matter how they feel or how difficult they are they all add up and you know the consistent efforts will compound so um you just appreciate the journey and dare the process all of that because you know that matters more in the grand scheme of things of where you end up in my opinion because when you get there you wouldn't have got there of all the hits you threw and all the efforts you put in that i mean those are more important than the end destination like i just said but yeah, it's really important and i just want to leave y'all off with this it's a quote from this dude named nick bear i referenced him before it's along the lines of this i just kind of paraphrased it do not allow imperfection to justify the excuse of executing with casual sloppiness because you know obviously we've heard this since we were little no one's perfect you know um and there'll be mistakes and you know mishaps along the way but don't let that lower your standard and your effort threshold like don't just be like oh since it won't be perfect anyway i shouldn't try like don't do that because the thing is you're going to shoot yourself in the foot and it's not going to be good you know just um know that things don't have to be ideal for you to execute you know it doesn't have to be the most sunny day it doesn't you don't have to be wearing the best shoes you don't have to be wearing the best watch you know just getting out there and getting after it that's the main thing it doesn't have to be super ideal like some nights you might get four hours of sleep some nights you might get eight and that's more ideal some days you might have drunk more water for you went to the gym you might have had more sodium or whatever you know situations might have been better but just taking it for what it is and doing it you know and going after and executing that's the main thing but um yeah i just think um in society you know with social media um kind of like with filters, you know, people posting things that um, don't really link to who they are as a person, kind of putting up a facade. I feel like that makes people get discouraged and be like, dang, uh, Nikki's doing this and I'm doing this and it looks like she's so big and bad, but in reality, she's figuring out just as much as you, just she's posting this to put out a certain image to make it seem like she knows everything, you know? It's just... You know, obviously more people are more successful than others because of various reasons, but, you know, just keeping it in your mind that everyone's trying to figure it out. That's the main thing I wanted to tell you all this episode, and yeah, I hope to help you all out, but that was episode 15 of the Indigo Podcast. See you all next time.